later. But I'm just a small town girl. And I moved here to Kirkland in 1990 BC, <laughs> before Costco. <laughs> because girls from the town of Chihuahua only had three options. You could either join the military, you could marry a logger, or you could take a midnight train going anywhere. And that's how I wound up here. But now, young girls from the Seattle area, they have it much harder because they have one option, and that is to take a light rail that goes basically nowhere. <laughs> but I have good news, because by 2071, they should be able to make it all the way to Issaquah. Now, I'm being generous when I say that I grew up in a small town. My sister and I actually grew up in the boonies, where the backwoods had backwoods. And we thought we had a very normal childhood, like we slept outside in a woodshed in the dead of winter, and we killed and ate our food. And if you got hurt, you better be sure that could be fixed with a popsicle stick and duct tape, or your parents had to drive you 45 minutes to the nearest vet. <laughs> and we thought it was totally normal until we went to our first sleepover in town. And then we just thought they were so spoiled. We were like, you get to sleep inside the house? <laughs> and wait, your parents aren't even remotely related? <laughs> but we did learn some mad skills in the woods that men do find rather attractive. Like by the time I was nine, I could drive a stick shift, I could birth a calf, and I could skin a deer. Because nothing says soulmate like a girl with a knack for taxidermy. <laughs> and we went to a two-room schoolhouse, but we were very, very proud because our 4-H club, we were the grand champions in pot growing. Now, who's from Kirkland here tonight? Anybody from local Kirkland? We've got a couple? All right. Well, those from Kirkland may recognize me because I've just been very involved in everything Kirkland. So I used to put on all the events in town, and I did some important things, like help solve the truck eating bridge problem. <laughs> and I also did some brave things, like uh, scrape juicy fruit off the butthole of the cow and the coyote. But a lot of people obviously mistake me for being the mayor of Kirkland. So I'm actually toying with the idea now. And I wanted to run a couple campaign slogans by you. So Barbie for mayor, because Mattel says I can be anything. <laughs> Barbie for mayor, because you can be a great leader and a little drunk at the same time. <laughs> Now, my life changed many years ago when I had a major accident. And I lost my independence and my entire life savings. And he turned 19 in May. 